Okay, next we are going to see adjective clauses. What is an adjective clause? An adjective clause is a group of words which has a subject and a predicate, but it has to depend on a uh, prime cause, clause or the main clause. And this clause does the work of an adjective. And what is the work of an adjective? It modifies or qualifies a noun. Okay, let's see now the adjective clauses. Okay, shall we go ahead with the um, examples? I will give you a lot of examples and then I will give you some exercise. Okay. Mary had a little lamb. whose fleece was white as snow. Here, whose is the coordinating conjunction or I am sorry, subordinating conjunction whose fleece was white as snow is the adjective clause and it describes the little lamb. Okay? Second sentence. I have a little shadow. All these are from poems. This is from the nursery rhyme. And this is from a poem. Which goes in and out with me. Okay, here which is the subordinate uh, conjunction which goes in and out with me. This is the clause and this is the clause. Next one. Heaven helps Those who help themselves. He heaven helps those who help themselves. Who is a subordinate conjunction and who help themselves. Okay? That is a dependent clause. It is adjective clause which depends on the main clause. Next one. The dog that bites or the dog that barks Seldom bites. The dog that barks. Seldom bites. It seldom bites. It's understood. Now, the dog that barks seldom bites. That is, it explains, it describes uh, that is a subordinate conjunction. The dog seldom bites is the uh, the dog seldom bites is the main clause and the dog that barks 
ok that is a clause. Next one. The boy stood on the burning deck. Whence all but he had fled. The boy stood on the burning deck. Um, whence he, okay, whence all but he had fled. This is the main part of the sentence. Whence all he but uh, whence all but he had fled is a subordinate clause and that is the adjective clause and it describes the burning deck. Next one. Uh, they never tell who die in a great we can never tell who dies in a great cause. Who dies in a great cause? They never tell is the main, main part of the sentence. Who dies in a great cause? That is we can never say who has really lived a, a good life and died a good death. Dies in a great cause means for a great reason. Next one. It is an ill wind that does nobody any good. It is an ill wind as a main clause that does nobody any good is a adjective clause. Next sentence. Here is the book that you had been looking for. Here is a book that you had been looking for. Here is a book is a main clause that you had been looking for describes the book or qualifies the book. So that is a adjective clause. Next one. She tells a tale. Tale means a story. She tells a tale that sounds untrue. That sounds untrue describes the way she tells a tale, a story. She tells a tale is a main clause. Next one. People who live in glass houses
should not throw stones. People who live in glass houses describes the sort of people. What do you mean by glass houses? That is people who live in precarious conditions. That is uh, very risky conditions or very uh, what to say uh, in a very different type of a situation. They should not throw stones. That is they should not find fault with the others. Because already they are living in a very precarious condition. They should not find fault. Throwing stones means finding fault. Okay, now people, people is not the clause. Who live in glass houses? People should not throw stones is the main clause. Who live in glass houses is the adjective clause. Now if you see, uh, we have 10 sentences here. Mary had a little lamb whose fleece was white as snow. Now, whose fleece describes the lamb here, whose fleece was white as snow. Okay, so that's the adjective clause. Next one, I have a little shadow which goes in and out of me. Which goes in and out of me describes the shadow. Next one, heaven helps those who help themselves. That is heaven helps those. Those describes who help themselves. If we do not take care of ourselves, we cannot expect God to help us. We should also be in a condition to take care of ourselves. Only then God will help us. So who help themselves is the, all these are adjective clauses. The dog that barks seldom bites. The dog that barks, that the dog seldom bites is the that that box is a adjective clause the dog seldom bites is a main clause okay that box describes a dog okay the boy stood on the burning deck whence all but he had fled now this burning deck is described here from where all had fled, all had run away, only the boy alone was standing there, Casablanca, have you heard of that uh, poem, where he is so obedient to his father, he, his father told him to stand in a place and even when the whole ship was burning, he stood there because he didn't want to disobey his father. The boy stood on the burning deck, whence all but he had fled. Everybody had run away. Only he alone was standing. So it describes a deck where everybody had gone away. They never tell who die who dies in a great cause. They never tell what who dies in a great cause. That is for great reason who dies. We cannot tell. So who dies in a great cause is an adjective clause. It is an ill wind that does nobody any good. It is an ill wind is a main clause. That does nobody any good describes the wind. Here is a book that you had been looking for. That you had been looking for is an adjective clause. It describes a book. She tells a tale that sounds untrue. That sounds untrue describes the tale or the story. People who live in glass houses should not throw stones. People should not throw stones who live in glass houses. People who live in glass houses describes, uh, that is who live in glass houses describes the people who should not throw stones. Okay, this part is the adjective clause. Now I am sure you are uh, thorough with this adjective clause. It describes or qualifies or modifies the subject in a sentence.